Hey guys, how you doing? Um, so look, I'm in a jungle underneath this tree. No, I'm underneath my yellow crookneck squash plant uh, that I grew vertically this year. Um, I posted a picture on one of my fun homesteading uh, um, pages and um, people were just like, oh, that's so cool and awesome. So I figured I would do um, kind of a video on it, um, on how I did it this year. Um, really pretty easy and I and I have enjoyed it one it, it kind of looks pretty um, I think it's nice for the bees also to get to the flowers easily um, and I'm out here in the morning so you know there's quite a few bees buzzing around and doing what they're supposed to and what we love them for um, but yeah I want I kind of wanted to show you the um, the steak you know and how I kind of took that main stalk um, you know and kept supporting it on the stake so it grew vertically um you know yellow crookneck squash and zucchini they have one main stem that grows um you know and you keep getting those um leaves and the flowers that come out of that main stalk so it's pretty easy to train this to go vertically um so i can kind of show you here how i started this is kind of a mess um you know, I gotta prune some of this, but um, this one I have two two plants. Let's see, let me turn y'all around so I can see what you're seeing. So I have two plants on this guy. Um, let's see. Come here, buddy. So you can see my stake is in the middle there, and I have my two two main stalks. Um, and you know, I used all kinds of things, whatever I could find. So I was using some zip ties at first. I seen some, um, God, what do you call those things? <sighs> Pipe cleaners at the dollar store. So I grabbed a couple packs of those because that's a cheap way. Um, you know, and every, you know, maybe once a week, I would do these little, you know, zip tie the stem to help it keep growing up. Um, so you can see I did another one there. You know, and I just, every time it grew a little bit and I had enough that I could support, I would support it on there. So you can see another one here. I had a green, some green tie there and up and up it went. So it does need some pruning right now, but, um, you know, from down below, you can see we got a lot of flowers. We still have, um, you know, lots of yellow squash. We've got a nice, nice size one up here. So just keep on going upwards. Like I said, there's a lot of leaves I can prune right now. Really anything underneath the fruit um, or underneath the squash, however you want to say it, um, you know, is not really growing the squash or giving it nutrients anymore. It's really just taking from the plant. So, you know, you see this squash here, there's a leaf down here. We can take that off. Um, it's not, you know, giving any energy to the plant anymore. So, um, you know, and that's what kind of gives it that cool tree look. Um, here's another one. You know, you can see where I've pruned all the leaves, you know, going up. You can hear a bee in there. Um, here's another one I have. You know, and just keep training it up. Like I said, easy for the bees to find the flowers, I feel like, rather than, um, you know, underneath all the leaves. When it's growing on the ground, I feel like maybe it's kind of harder for them to get to the um, to the flowers to fertilize um, or pollinate. I'm sorry, pollinate. So, yeah, that is my my vertical squash. Super pretty, and I think you know I I was able to fit. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, eight squash vertically in half of a four by eight bed. So. I feel like, you know, it's saved me a lot of space, too, where I could plug in a lot of um, other things. Because I always like to use, utilize, you know, every little bit of my garden bed. So, if you guys have any questions on that, let me know. I'm happy to show some more pictures or, um, you know, I'm hoping starting next season I can show you how I start it from a little, a little guy um, and start training it right away. So, that's that. Hope you all have a good day productive day um, and stay well and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.